Lionar versus Abyssian, we're going first. Alright, let's uh, replace the Azure Herald and see if we can get something else. And we got a Holy Emulation, so our first turn will probably be just a Healing Mystic. So, we'll just go forward, play a Healing Mystic, and uh, we'll end our turn. Swarm into Inkling Surge. Okay. Hard draw. So, what can we do? I mean, we can play the Sunriser. Let's just go. Uh, let's go down here. We'll play a Silver Guard Knight there. And then we'll just go forward and then kill a Wraithling. And we'll end our turn. And the next turn, we can do a Sunforce Lance or Blood Spell if we have something survive. I don't know if he's going to punish or what, but uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Shadow, ooh, Shadow Watcher, good thing we have a Sun Bloom. So we'll have five mana, we can just do a Sun Force Lance or Sun Bloom, but we can't do our Bloodborne spell, or uh, we can't just do a, I mean, we have to do a Sun Bloom eventually on the Shadow Watcher, but as long as it doesn't... okay. Okay. I'm fine with this. So we can just grab the mana. We have uh, five. So we can just do... We can just do... Uh, let's see what we can do. We can attack one. Since the Shadow Watcher can't reach us yet, we can just Sun Bloom it later. Uh, we'll just play a Sun Force Lancer back here. Into uh, Afterglow on the Healing Mystic. We can just move this down to get the zeal bonus, and we can just attack and then attack one more turn. And then uh, we can just sun bloom the shadow watcher later because I don't think I don't think uh like I think the only thing that can move is like a heart sister or uh, Miss Dragon Seal, but those aren't in Abyssian, so or I could be just totally mistaken and get hit for five in the face. So we'll see. Gloom Chaser. Oh, that's a lot of things. So what is dispelled? There's unfortunately last just dispelled, that's fine. We can just clear most of the board with a blistering scorn anyways. So there's that. Or we can just do a holy emulation on the Silver Guard Knight. Alright, so you didn't move the Shadow Watcher. That's totally fine. Uh, let's see what we can do. So we can just attack this Gloom Chaser here. And then we'll move this up. And we'll, I mean, it doesn't matter because this is a vanilla 2 4 now. Uh, let's see, we'll just do Holy Immolation here to do 4 damage all around, clear the board. I know this isn't going to be super big, but. Let's just move ourselves back to get the zeal bonus. And uh, we'll attack for two on our turn. Alright, we got Trinity Oath. I mean, we saw the Sun Bloom, which I'm not replacing to get rid of the Shadow Watcher. I mean, the Shadow Watcher can get big as much as he wants as long as he doesn't get close. So, he does have four cards, six mana. We'll see what he does. Saber Spine Tiger. Okay, so I think he's gonna kill the Silver Guard Knight out straight up. Maybe swing for two. Maybe. Alright, we have six mana, so we can't just do Scintilla Sunriser. That would be uh, annoying, but 
We'll see what happens. And another Shadow Watcher, so that's a thing. So what can we do? We can heal, we have to do a Sun Bloom now, maybe. Let's see. Or we can just do a Sunriser into a Bloodborne spell first, so I mean this can just die because it's a vanilla 2-2. We'll just play a Sunriser here, maybe? Play a Sunriser... And then we'll just attack, or uh, we'll heal the Sunforged Lancer, like so. Move ourselves back up a space so we don't get hit by the Shadow Watcher. I'm fine with the Sunrise. I'm throwing the Sunrise under the bus because we have to kill the other Shadow Watcher, but uh, we'll just attack for... move ourselves back. Attack for two on our turn. Alright, Circle of Life. Maybe we don't even need to dispel the Shadow Watcher. You never know. Uh, we'll see. I mean, I guess in hindsight I probably should have, but I didn't have enough mana to do the heal plus the Sun Bloom. A Primus Shield Master. Okay. What was he going? Okay, Sunrise is dead. So he's a fourteen nine, which we can just dispel. All right, that's a fifteen ten. So we have seven mana. We can kill the Primus with just the Circle of Life. So uh, and our General. Alright, so what can we do? We have 7 mana, so let's just do... Yeah, let's just do attack for 3. And then we'll search Circle of Life, get 4 health back, we'll be at full. Let's move this over here, kill a Wraithling. And then we'll just, uh... We can't kill it now if we want to. Oh, well, we'll, we'll kill it now. Why not just kill it now? We'll end our turn. Alright, a one blade going to replace that. I need something more stronger right now. Alright, so what can we do? We can play a Blistering Scorn, let's replace the one blade Adept, see what we can get. And we get a Sunrise Cleric, so I can do that. So that's three, four, oh, so I can't really do everything. But we'll just do a Blistering Scorn here to make it a threat, and we'll just do a Sunrise Cleric. Uh, let's do it right here, give ourselves a Hallowed Ground to heal us back up. We have three mana. Might as well heal this Blistering Scorn. Actually, it doesn't matter because he has 5 attack uh, on board anyway. So, uh, we'll end our turn. Maybe. I uh, can play the Scintilla as well, but... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play Scintilla and make it a threat and we'll end our turn. Alright, Dark Transformation on! Okay, yeah, so I made that a uh, target. So he does get everything from that. We have to do a Trinity Oath just because we need the card draw, and I kinda... I can just swing at the Primus to get the 3 health back. We'll see what happens. Shadow spawn, so we need to Trinity out, that's for sure. And it spawned way back there, so good for us. Uh, let's attack this for three. We'll do a Trinity out, get the card draw, get our health back. 
Scintilla, Azure Herald, and a Sun Bloom. Uh, I can't just Sun Bloom the Primus. Uh, I'm gonna replace the Scintilla, maybe. Oh no, the Azure Herald. I got an we got another Scintilla, so we can do a Scintilla. Um, I think that's fine. We can just negate the three. Or we can just do a Sun Bloom and attack the General for four. know which is better. I guess we'll just uh, we'll sun bloom this area here. Move this forward and then we'll heal this. Uh, we'll attack first and then do our blood muscle spell to heal it back up since our blood muscle is once a turn now. Alright so we'll end our turn. He's forced to get rid of the blistering scorn somehow. And then I can just clear the board with the Primus Shield Master, Saber's Mind if it's still alive with the Tempest, if he doesn't attack me with both of them. Or I can just do a Dark Transformation, that works as well. I mean, he does have a lot of minions on board, but no Death Watch, and he is top decking, so... I mean, if we have the advantage, I'm going to replace the Scintilla, see what we can get. I know I need all the heals I can get, which is why I have like one Scintilla and the Azure Herald. I know two would be good, but... Um, yeah, it's just, it is fine the way it is right now, because I can just clear the board. Alright, so let's replace this, see what we can get. We got a Silver Guard Knight, so let's just do a Tempest to clear the board. Then we'll just go forward and play a Silver Guard Knight. And we can just play an Azure Herald here just in case. And we'll end our turn. Then we got a Trinity Health, so more card draw. Okay, so yeah, he didn't ha he he didn't top deck uh, a solution. So yeah, we were able to win this. Like it was scary g with the shadow watches and all, and we just threw sunrise under the bus. But luckily, we had that sun bloom to be able to deal with the super big shadow watcher. So yeah, um, I guess in the end it was an interesting match. Like he did get board position, but we were able to wipe out the board the next turn or a few turns after. So. Either that or the board wasn't that much of a threat, so yeah, that was, that was an interesting match.